Hello friends, you are most welcome to this session. This is an extension of our part two, part three, and that is why it's part three plus, because we have actually used e-views to treat estimation of simple regression model. But based on demand from some of those who have been following us in this class, that they wanted to see how to use Excel to do it we decided to put up this very class and um, so we are going to show you how to estimate simple regression model using excel it's very very simple um i, I remain your facilitator dr Marco Achukwo, all right and my key desire is to ensure that we make econometrics become as simple as possible to all of you especially you who is watching this um, video now uh, and to put smile on your face when you hear about the econometrics now so to to do this you 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 need an excel that has analysis two pack most excel does not have it as as uh, you know from from scratch so you will need to activate it they come in as add-ins in excel and so how do you activate it in your excel in case it's not there if it's there maybe someone has used it or not if someone has used it you will see it there but if it's not there all you need to do is to go to file under file you look for option and then you go to add-ins add-ins allow you to add different um, analytical uh, tools you may want to use and then the one we need is analysis to pack we we'll quickly add it and then go to data on the menu bar then you see data analysis and you start your regression it's very simple i'll show you how to do it quickly by the way um excel may not allow us the flexibility built into e-views which we're going to show in the next video of part two in e-views okay but just to do simple regression um it is quite something simple to do so this is our excel sheet and like I mentioned earlier, some of the, 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 the institution that release data sets, it comes this way in role forms. Okay, by the way, those of you who remember this hash is only showing that we don't have enough space here to see the data. So once you create that space, you see the data there. So all you need to do first, let's try to transpose. Those who joined in the previous class will easily be able to do this. Select your data want to make it stand as you know horizontal instead of um vertical as it is now you select your data Control c is your copy otherwise you right click and copy now you see that thing dancing around it like small ants right that's an evidence that copy is activated so you put your cursor where you want the cursor to be maybe somewhere here and then you go to paste and click the arrow drop under it. Some of them you see paste special. You click that arrow, you watch out for what we call transpose. So you click on transpose and that transpose our data, beautiful. Now, having done that, the next thing we need to do is to go to file. Remember what we noted earlier. You go to file, you go to file, right? You go to file under file you watch us for excel option you see option here you click on option it gives you this dialog box very beautiful dialog box under the options there you look for add-ins this is add-ins okay you click on add-ins and then you see different tools you can use in your analysis in excel but our interest is in analysis to pack so you click on it when you click on it the next thing you need to do is to say go okay it's, it's giving you options whether you want to include other things or, or, or other available um, options there but analysis to pack is okay by us so we we'll just click okay once we have clicked okay under the menu bar like you have home insert page layout you go to data you click data under data you will see analysis to pack okay now is not here it's possible it got re de deactivated because i had used it before so let me go through the option again all right 
I, I clicked on option and then add in then adding is there i click on adding and i go ahead to click on what again go then analysis to pack i say give it to me there now if you have followed you see data it has appeared here it was not here before so that's what we need so the next thing we have to do is to open analysis data analysis and then you see different options then and one of the options you see is regression so you click on regression and click ok it gives you a dialog box from this dialog box you are meant to define your dependent variable your dependent variable is your y okay so if i click on this arrow where you have red here then i'll be able to select my gdp which in this case is my dependent variable so i click on it and then I use my cursor to move from GDP and picking from the variable name down. I'll show you how to make sure it recognizes your variable name. I click the arrow down there. Then I click on the next one, independent variable. My independent variable here is import. So I, I, I click on import and scroll down. Okay, I, I get it there. This arrow down expands the dialog box. Now to make sure it picks the, the variable name, which in this case is GDP and import, you click on label. If you don't click on label, it will count, it will not recognize that name and it will see that um, first variable um, rule as a missing data. So I click on label and then if I want my result to be on this same sheet where I have my data, I click output range. I select output range option and come here oh you see what i did as i click that i come here and then click on where i want the result to appear maybe i want it to appear somewhere here then that's all if you want to include other things that are listed here you may want to include those options but it's not of interest i just want to show you how to do this so i click ok and it gives me the beautiful result look at the result there okay it gives me regression statistics and um, summary the arrow square and all of that see my intercepts see the import as independent variable see your coefficient standard error t statistics p value and then um, other options so interpreting of this result is not of key interest to us here it's just to show you how it works now what if you want to do multiple regression let me show you sheet two. Oh, before that, if I want my result to appear on a different uh, 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 sheet, instead of instead of um, clicking on output, you just click on new sheet. The system will quickly give you the result on a new sheet. You see, this is a new sheet altogether. Sheet three is created, and the result is dumped there. It's the same result, nothing changed. Now on sheet two here. I have a, a multiple regression as in multiple regression for those of you who don't know is when you have your you know more than one independent variable in the model and so if GDP is my dependent variable here I have exports imports FDI that's foreign direct investment okay so what do I do I click on data analysis that's multiple regression you click on regression and click OK, the options come out again. For the first one, um, my dependent variable, you don't just assume, you know, certain things I, I, I highlighted here by chance because I had used it in the previous uh, sheet. So you click afresh and make sure you select your dependent variable from beginning to the end where your data stops. Okay, you expand that. And then the independent variable. Now, when you want to select the independent variable, you select all of them you want to use at once. You see here, I'm selecting import, export, FDI, then I go down. So you select all of them at once. You know, you have like one option there, but if you if you want to wait until you have space to select them individually, it, it won't work. You see them, I have all of them, and remember you check your label. To be sure it picks the, the variable name. Okay, so we don't want it on a new sheet or 
Okay, let's keep it on a new sheet and ask the system, give us the results. It gives us very beautiful results with the several independent variable import apart from intercept, import, export, and then FDI. And this is the result. We will do more of the interpretation as we continue with the part four of our e-view study. All right. Thank you very much for watching. And we want to say that we hope to see you in our next class. For those of you who have not followed our class on econometrics using e-views, I encourage you to do that. It's something you need to watch if you want to strengthen your foundation in, in econometrics. Thank you and stay blessed. Cheers.